We are live. We are. We are. We're trying to connect. It Here we go. Like we're connected. We're connected. Facebook Live, YouTube Live. Yay. Merry Christmas, everybody. We're getting ready. It's like, it's the 21st, so we have Christmas Eve, Merry Eve, Christmas. Eve, 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 Eve. Merry, Merry so, Christmas. So, anyways, we're really excited, and we have a lot going on, getting ready for the holidays and wrapping up jobs, so hopefully you guys are doing the same, finishing your jobs with success and being able to have time off with your family. We have a work party tonight. And I think everybody needs to see Chris's, Chris's, can you open the sleeve? You gotta I made this back. for him. I'm so, not very artsy. <laughs> this is our ugly sweater. I'm not very um, artsy, but I'm very proud of this piece of artwork that I did. But you're, you're showing the employees that might be watching live. No, they wouldn't do them. that. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. Um, so Isn't there's, this the craftiest thing you've ever seen? See, there's see, a state of state. Idaho. It's got a brush. And it's got YouTube socks on it. And this is educational uh, because we are a place that educate, equip, and empower. And so this is what our state looks like. And see the little bell? That's Boise. So if you don't know what our state looks like, now you do. And he's the Idaho painter. And if you didn't know where Boise was located in the state of Idaho, there you have it. And if you are watching us on Facebook Live, I want you to know we're on YouTube. That's why the YouTube socks are there. We are. Um, we have Dwayne Perry on Joe Stevens on Facebook. A um, few people there. We've got, here we go, um, today on YouTube. Uh, yeah, put it on. B. Jordan was on first. Sean Thank Sinclair, Larry, um, the painter Ives. Uh, we got Sean Sinclair Argos painting design, the Silver Line painting, Lance's wall art, um, Jake Humphreys family man design, yeah. cool. Um, so we got some people hanging Thank out. Um, look at family man said he won the ugly sweater contest at his church. <laughs> there you go. So you think Send he us would? a picture. We would love to see it. I think he did. So show, um, show, show. There we oh, go. Just a funny face. Are you gonna put your put it on? Put it on. I'm not gonna put it but on. Yes, right now. yes. No, oh, no, no, no. oh my goodness! Look, I'm wearing so, mine. I made this one too. Very so proud. There. Very proud. Feathers. Michael Michael Moyer's on. Um, I don't know how you spell that. Quet Quet Quetzali painting. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? Yeah. So Billy Devlin. Somebody from Holland. There we Welcome. go. Welcome. Thank you for being with somebody us. Somebody from Sweden. Let us know where you're from yeah. because the reason why we're doing this noon show now is um, we had a lot of requests from the UK to do mm -hmm. it. And so here we are. We're yep. doing it in special honor of all those people that showed up in the UK to the painting and decorating show. We do. I got an announcement to say Thank our Paint you, Life Teresa. shirts and hats. Our Paint Life store is now open. You can buy our shirts. You. You can buy our shirts, you can buy our hats, and you can buy some of the tools. Um, some of the tools, we have sweatshirts too. Some of the tools that we all we always are using in our videos are um, that we think are absolute game changers. They're available mm -hmm. in our store. There's gonna be a very few sweat Hi, tools that we're selling. Our CA glue, Billy Devlin. branded CA glue. It's even got our logo. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare, but it's got our logo on it. The glue that um, wood glue, it's amazing. Dr literally Hi, dries Chad. in like two seconds. So, so. Um, the family man said he's going to tag us on Instagram with the sweater pictures. Cool. So yeah, I if anybody tags us with their Christmas ugly Christmas sweater in America, this is our little tradition. If you guys do it also, um, send us a picture, and I'm going to pick my favorite, and I'll send a prize. Pete Wilkinson is I on. I will send a prize. Um, on Facebook. Hi, Pete. Um, we you got like my sweater? Carrie Newcomb is on so Facebook. Pretty. So we got pretty, some people pretty. jumping on Facebook too. So. I hope everybody's getting ready um, for the holidays. Yeah. Tonight, um, tonight, today, wherever you are, we did say tell us where you're from because we are um, starting to think about our schedule next year and we are going to start um, traveling more. We're going to take the show on the road. So, you know, we want to know where you guys are from from so that we come visit you guys first over places that nobody watches us. We got Christopher Thwaites from the UK. We've got um, Teresa Satterfield from Jackson, North Carolina, Rochester, New York, Aaron Singer, um, Eli from Toronto, Canada, um, Saginaw, Michigan, Jay Humphreys. So we got people uh, from Wendy all over. Island. So Where's that island? Indianapolis. Down? 
Wimby Island. Um, Tell me where Arkansas, country. Tommy Kitchens from Arkansas. So it's kind of interesting. We got, you know, we're doing this show especially yeah. for the UK, and we got people from all over the United States on. So it's kind of cool. You said it's um, 2050 there. We are on Facebook. We got we love Facebook. It's the Idaho Painter. If you guys don't know on YouTube, and we do love Instagram. Go check us out on Instagram. Always posting little 30 second, one minute clips and tips and tricks and stuff. So check us out. And we just wanted to do questions and answers with you guys today. You know, whatever questions you have for us, we're here. You know, we're getting ready to um, take time off for our family, which is awesome. And we hope you're doing the same. So if you have any suggestions for us, like this is what we want you to do for an upcoming show. This is what we're interested in. Um, put those up there. and We'll write them down and we'll... Um, yeah. Start we got, scheduling um, for next year. Dwight Wilder from the Ukraine. Awesome. Is on the show. Thank you for being with us. There we go. Thank you, Dwight. The Ukraine is representing. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's kind of really cool. Victoria, Texas. Morales painting a drywall. Silver Lines from Ontario, Canada. Um, let's see, the Ukraine. We got North nice. Carolina. So, kind of cool. So, um, we do. Uh, somebody, I got somebody else that sent me some, um, I think it's some stickers, but if you have a sticker, a company sticker, mm -hmm. send me your company sticker, um, send me two of them, and I'm going to send you, hand me some Paint Life stickers, I'll show some so, stickers, and I'm going to send you um, some of our Paint Life stickers, we're going to be giving away some Paint Life stickers today, I gave away some yesterday on Facebook Live, mm -hmm. we were we were out, if you didn't know, on, really if you're on my... YouTube, go check us out, we were doing a tape test, a tape test live on um, Facebook, and it included a tape when I was over in the um, National Painting and Decorating Show, Tessa tape, and they every time they would say it, they would say teaser tape, mm -hmm. and so I thought it was called taser tape, but it's Tessa tape, and um, we were testing it out, and go check out the results. The results don't lie. Okay. So um, it says, he, he sent me, this is pretty cool. It says, please post a pic of your sticker slaps and tag us. So um, he left his from hashtag, so from Garrett, local non-union hmm. that's interesting local non-union now this is a really cool sticker <laughs> what is that, it he um podcast is it say pod podcast says local non-union podcast i want to check that out there you go Just right, right that's cool. it's a, Hi, a rat it's a rat smoking a cigarette or something that's pretty <laughs> oh, cool my goodness. um yeah he, and they actually sent us a whole handful of them this oh, is really fun. cool and, and you're going to give out some and keep right some here. these are not cheap stickers either these, yeah. these, these are probably from sticker mule which ours are from sticker mule and they're super high quality stickers that don't scratch and uh, whippy so islands in go. washington check it out so that is local non-union podcast and they um hashtag hashtag local non-union so go check them out on Instagram. yeah and so muhammad said he's from Bruxelles. where's that anyways I, thank you for being with us, Mohammed. If you have and any questions, um, shoot us the questions. Um, Lance's Wall Art says, I always shave my beard and leave my mustache. Then I wear a turtleneck ugly sweater. Ha ha. This is like my creation <laughs> that Chris is going to wear tonight. This is my creation. Idaho painter. So creative. We're on YouTube, Facebook, if you don't know that. And YouTube, if you don't know, we're on Facebook. Vice versa. So um, we, Chris posted a picture yesterday. We have exciting news going on for us. You know, everything moves a little bit slower, but we are starting to build our garage slash shop where when it is finished, we're gonna be um, starting some classes. And so yesterday, what was going on on our property? Um, we were pouring the footings. If you um, follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. I shot some videos of the guys pouring the footings mm -hmm for our new academy coming up, our building for our academy. So we are getting ready to build for all those people that have wanted to come here and have- We'll tell you when it's ready. The Idaho <laughs> Painter and Journeyman John teach you how to paint. Yeah. Or just show you how we paint, Thank really. You, Norman. Um, it's coming okay. soon. Paint Life stickers. But this, this show we're doing right now is, it's interactive and it's about you guys. And so we definitely want you guys to ask us questions. Also, we're having our employee party tonight. That's why I'm wearing my ugly sweater. Norman Cockburn, um, happy Christmas and happy new year to Chris, Lisa, girls, also John and the rest of the employees. I Thank don't know if you, you remember him. Yes, I do. I there do you know go. Norman. I remember him. So um, let, what let I was- her, Let everybody know where you're from, Norman. Scotland, I think. Scotland Type or Ireland? In. Belgium, Mohammed Denari is from Belgium. 
Awesome. There you go. Um, so Paint Tech Academy is on. Um, so another, so um, one thing is that if you guys have had fun work parties, give us suggestions of what we should do for our work party tonight. Yeah. Obviously, we're doing an ugly sweater contest, and I already have mine on. Chris doesn't have his on yet, but he will be putting it on. But um, so I can't say his name. I'll, I'm gonna. So he Try says. Say he says, "Call you can call me John." So John, okay. Oh, okay. question: Did you work? Did you work with other painters on YouTube? You have. Um, I have. I've worked mm -hmm. with other painters on YouTube doing collaboration videos, mm -hmm. um, which is really cool. I, I really like doing collaboration videos. So if you have a YouTube channel, if you have an Instagram mm -hmm. um, page or um, uh, Facebook for that matter, any of those social medias, I, I'm always willing to collaborate. I'm always willing to work. Yeah, just reach and out to us. And we're always willing to learn. Yeah. Because um, that was when we went to the UK. I learned a whole lot being in the UK. We've got some people... Um, Jamie Cummins, um, you can't. Um, we learned about somebody says, who wrote a book. So Jamie Cummins says you guys can't even cut in. Ooh. 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 Merry Sorry. Christmas, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jamie's just in the. Um, he's in the spirit. Okay, just don't tell the our, New Year's don't, spirit. <laughs> don't tell our customers because yeah, they're the ones that pay our bills. It's so. interesting how <laughs> it's interesting how people want to jump on our live show and tell us that we don't know how to do something. Yeah, that's okay. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that's okay. So I thought about doing that here in Victoria. So shots, shots, shots. What are you um, gonna do in Victoria? Top Cleaner says Morales. shots. Okay. And I'm sure that's. <laughs> so, that's oh, all good. Oh, Devlin. Um, just lots of drinks. Yeah, um, well, maybe we have alcohol. Non well, yeah. maybe he's talking I'm about doing hot cocoa. I'm going to do a hot cocoa bar with <laughs> right. um, with candy canes and mush. MK Decorators is on. Um, Jen Hadley is on. Uh, Vin Twist, Happy Christmas from Leeds, UK. Danny. So um, John says he has a YouTube channel where I give every week a new painting tip great idea because that's what we want to be a part of we want to be a part of yep. um, a community that helps each other so definitely just message us um, so messages. billy devlin says he can't um stay long says sorry guys can't stay long wife dragging me out shopping billy devlin painting and decorating from galloway ireland and i haven't even gone shopping yet so my girls said let's not do presents this year but do giveaways and so i was like okay <laughs> that makes it easy bingo and giveaway home improvement gifts Ah, that's a great idea. There you go. That's a great idea. We have a fun work. Well, I can't even say it because, yeah, what if our guys. They should be painting, so they shouldn't be watching us, but you know, I can't give away what Christmas I'm going to do. Republic, Texas. So I want to. Um, we'll, we'll talk about tape right now, mm -hmm. and since here, here we'll just um, talk about something maybe educational and to tell them the test we did. So we did, we did an actual test um, yesterday with a whole bunch of tapes. So. Um, we used Tessa tape, all, all the lines of Tessa tape that they gave me. We used frog tape, we used 3M tape, a whole different brands of free, um, mm -hmm. frog tape. And then there was another tape is like um, X tape or something like that. And um, so thank you very much, Pro Finish um, Painting, Regina. Regina. They just gave us a super chat. Thank you. Thanks for all we you do to it. assist the painting community around the world. Thank you very much. We really appreciate the super chat. So, um, so we did this tape test, and because um, and the reason why we did it, and um, and did it like now, and I didn't even have it on my mind. We were just one day threw some tape on the wall, rolled some paint on the tape on, and and I just posted it on in Instagram, just like a thirty second clip, because I thought it would look cool, uh -huh. and I wasn't really actually doing a test. I was. Just just, we just wanted to make it a cool clip for Instagram, and um, there was a lot of people that you know didn't think we were fair, and, and with you know the tapes that were showing up, there was only two tapes on there, so we decided to do a real tape, and yeah. people wanted it to be um, like controlled mm -hmm. and done right, so we did. Hi, Rick. And so we put tapes on there, and I'll tell you just to um, well, I won't tell you the winner right now, so we'll just no. walk. Um, we put all the tapes on there online. And um, we made sure Hint, they could go to Instagram and you say go to go to Instagram. <laughs> I'm eventually going to put um, a more in depth. We, we did more. Um, uh, I did the Leo. test three different times on three different surfaces. And so what you'll see on Instagram or Facebook um, is um, it's like it was live on Facebook. Um, you're going to see only one test. And that was on um, 
on orange peel texture. So some people on Instagram didn't think we were fair because we were putting it on orange peel texture, but orange peel texture is what is on my wall right here. It's a, this is a heavy knockdown. That's what's common here. When I went over to the UK and we were just over there for a while, mm -hmm. what everybody seems to have is smooth wall level five finishes. Mm -hmm. And you don't ever see that around here. That is very rare. So we were conducting the test for what what we Our see situations. most often. Mm -hmm. So I don't even have um, a situation where I put on smooth wall, but mm -hmm. we put it on um, some um, really light texture and some really heavy texture to test it out. And, um, you know, I, I talked to, I personally talked to, you know, some one of the tape manufacturers that said, hands down, there's blows away any manufacturer's tape out there, and it doesn't even have any chemicals on the back of it to swell and um, hands down, Thirst did not perform okay. better than the other ones. So, um, but they had one, I think, that came in second place in one of the tests, third place in another test. But what I thought was really interesting is our cheap production tape that we mm -hmm. use. Um, and it's, it's, it's not, I wouldn't say it's cheap. It's the best production tape we've ever found. Um, but you can only leave it on for a day, but it doesn't splinter. It um, adheres really well and um, comes off really easy when you use it in just one day. And that's typically what we use. And that was 3M 2020 tape. And one of the tests um, that had an orange peel texture on the wall that was painted a lot, multiple coats, so it, the wall was smoothed out a lot, that tape actually came in second place. And um, in the test, which was absolutely amazing because it's only a dollar a roll. Mm -hmm. And most of the other tapes on the wall were uh, ranging from anywhere from $4 a roll to $6 a roll. So mm -hmm. I thought that was incredible. And so we got um, Morales Painting and Drywall, Merry Christmas from our family to yours. He says, Thank gave us a so super much, chat. Julio. Thank you very much, Julio um, Morales. We follow him on um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. We see him there. Um, um, Pro Serve Co Painting just gave us a super chat. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Pro Serve Co. What's your name and where are you we from? Really, we really appreciate yeah, it what, very much. Where um, you're where you're painting at. Um, Fisher New Karate. I thought you said the show was about us. Well, you need to dialogue with us um, for it to be about you. I mean, the show is about you guys because without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. The um, so is the suspense feeling. is good. Okay. This, so here we go. I'm going to tell you which one won all three tests that we've done so far. Now, eventually, we're going to try to find a level five finish, yeah. but we are going to test it on glass in a level five finish. So glass is completely smooth. But so far on all three tests, frog tape, hands down, was by far the winner. And we used frog tape, one inch tape, and we used frog tape, the green frog tape. We also used frog tape, the sensitive frog tape, which is really good for like wallpaper and stuff like that. That didn't perform nearly as well as green frog tape. Now, here's something that um, is interesting is um, what we the term what we call damming. And so when you paint over the tape and you pull the tape off, there's this little ridge where the paint um, met the tape and then it drops off and now you have the wall that's called damming. Um, one of the tapes called Tessa tape is um, absolutely incredible tape. It's super thin. The paper is the thinnest I've ever seen and extremely durable, doesn't splinter. And they even have one that can be left on for weeks outside. That one damned the least because it was the thinnest paper. Okay, and I remember, makes sense. and so when you pulled it off, you can barely see the line. And um, so as the paint dried, we rolled over the top of it. You can see that the least. So, you know, if you, you know, created a line because of a stripe on a wall or something like that using frog tape um, versus um, Tessa tape, you know, and you went over and you're going to repaint your walls again someday, you will see the line. Absolutely guaranteed there's no way around that. Mm -hmm. But with the Tessa tape, you're um, not going to see the line as much. So Silver so, Line Painting says, what primer do you personally use prior to staining wood? Or do you? Staining wood. Well, if we're... Um, so if so if we're staining wood with a solid color stain the stains we use are self priming they are stains you you're we're not using any um any any primer at all if you're using a semi transparent stain or something it's a stain you do not prime the wood now we do condition the wood we put on what, what is called a conditioner if we are using a really soft wood and we want the stain to come out more even and not blotchy so we use a conditioner and uh, we use a uh, Minwax uh, wood conditioner mm -hmm. and 
if you're painting the wood, now you do want to use a primer. Because mm -hmm. if you're going to paint the wood, there is no such thing as a paint and primer wood. Paint and primer one, do not believe it for a second. Mm -hmm. If you're going to paint wood, you need to prime it with a wood primer. And um, we use multiple different primers depending on the type of wood we're using. And um, I would say, you know, uh, there's we use a multi-surface you know primer um it's called multi-surface primer it's probably you know the and it's from sure whims that would probably be the one that we would use and it's a latex based primer we do use a fast dry oil primer which will dry uh, within 30 minutes to an hour and you can top coat it really fast if we use an oil primer and that's called fast dry oil and we buy that from sure whims too so, we got alex farrell um hi. he says no it's tessa T-E-S-S-A. We have um, problems pronouncing things. <laughs> so they, um, when everybody in UK would pronounce it to me, they would say taser, taser, taser. Uh, and um, they were they have accents. using a Z. The sound was a Z instead of S. And he spelled it T-E-S-S-A. I thought it was T-E-S-A, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't have it in front of me. It's so, probably Tessa. So somebody um, said they are... Um, I, what tape works best on brick? I'm searching for a good adhesive to stick okay. well to brick. Okay, good question. Um, duct tape. Duct tape. <laughs> if we're ever paint, we we do. If we're taping on brick, we'll we'll use 3M 2020 mm -hmm. tape. That's the best tape that sticks on brick for us. And you really need to use the inch and a half um, version because you just have a lot more surface area of um, adhesive. But there will be times when it doesn't stick to the brick very well, and then we just break out duct tape. Let me explain something to you about the tapes that I did learn um, and I'm only you know passing on the information from the reps I spoke to and one of them was the 3M rep and they explained to me how their tape um, that is kind of equivalent to frog tape and these tapes like frog tape and um, 3M tape 3M's this is their the model is um, it's the 2093 EL it has a chemical on the tape that swells up so what happens is as a liquid begins to work under the tape the adhesive of the tape it swells and it blocks out anything and it swells instantly um and it's supposed to and not allow any so, liquid so i'm explaining okay, okay. <laughs> so the um the, the chemical what 3m told me that theirs is across the whole surface of the tape the whole adhesive and they explained to me that frog tape was only on the outer edge and so um, frog tapes is the outer edge so you know they explained to me how theirs performs better but what i've noticed from all my testing is because and it's my theory because of that chemical that's on here this tape does not adhere very well it comes off all the time on on non-cured paint like when we're painting a house mm -hmm. and we've rolled the walls that day or even within a couple days and you try to put this on literally within a half hour it all comes off mm -hmm. it does perform very well on glass though it sticks well on glass but anything that's moisture or humidity in the air um, um, not very good at all so I have a question the um, frog tape comes in a plastic container yes. and that's because you don't want it to get wet because then that's gonna ruin it right um good question so yes frog tape and these these if these are exposed to moisture you know it is going to um, cause it to swell but but the way 3m explained to me theirs is on the whole surface of the tape so just the outer edge doesn't matter but frog tape ideally you are supposed to keep it in those plastic containers keep it away from moisture mm -hmm. um, in the air or even you know rain or anything like that or drop it on the grass that has dew on it because it's going to cause the edge of it to swell and it makes it swell really bad those mm -hmm. plastic containers are very annoying because the the square end of it which makes it so it stands up for mm -hmm. marketing you have to line that up and in order to snap them. It didn't used to be like that. Okay. They changed the packing and that's very, very annoying. I know um, oh, we are, we, me, being me and my guys uh -huh. um, working, we're using tons of frog tape and we're very bad at putting it back in the cases. And, we, and it's expensive. And it is expensive. It is very expensive. We, we buy it at the 35% off bucket sale. And when it's they have the 35 bu bucket sale, we're getting it at 35% off retail. And that makes, it saves a lot of money. And we buy it by bulk, like molt, like I'll buy like 30 cases of it at a time okay. when it's 35% off. Because we use lots of it. So Fisher New Karate, do you guys ever dry brush or back paint? 
to get a perfect line. What are your thoughts on this method? So, um, so that's so getting a perfect line. There's a lot of Dry different. Brush um, back paint. There's a lot of different methods you can put, say, like frog tape down, and you can wet it with a rag, and it causes it to pre swell, and then you can brush. We use clear caulking, mm -hmm. and we'll put it over that, and that basically is pre wetting it, and then and sealing any part of the frog tape that didn't, you know, um, get down in the nooks and crannies, and that method works really well for us. Um, but you can squirt it with water, with mm -hmm. a, um, water. But there's a lot of a lot of different methods out there that um, work for people. We just have found that what works for us and just is the most convenient is using clear caulking if we're on rough surfaces and it works well. So John, there, said, I'm going to ask a question. Do you do you have many okay. videos about applying wallpaper and why not? So we have a lot of videos about removing wallpaper because it's a very tedious process. And um, there's a lot of chemicals out there and products and gimmicks that um, just really do not work. We do not use any chemicals or any tools other than um, um, spat spatulas or putty knives. And we um, use a Werner steamer and a little spray bottle to pre-wet it. So he asked about applying. You don't have many videos so about we applying do not apply. wall paper. And so that's something we have not got into, but we are interested in getting into it. And because of meeting Paint Tech Academy and Pete, this is for you, um, he said he was going to make us a video on how to apply wallpaper. So we're really excited to get that from him and to add that to our channel, yep. how to apply. Because there's different papers out there and there's some specialty um, techniques. Yep. And so, um, yeah, we want to learn. And then once we learn, we want to share that with you. So Dwight Wilder has a video request. He says he'd love to see us paint a house with aluminum siding. And I'll tell you, um, and he says any special tricks, the paint we use on our exteriors, we use a, a couple of them. We use a lot of super paint. We like to use a lot of resilience. That paint can go on stucco. It can go on vinyl, um, choosing the right colors. It can go on aluminum siding. It can go on wood and it can go on the concrete, which is um, hardy plank up here, and they can go on composite siding. And so um, we use that same exact paint for spraying aluminum siding. The big thing is with aluminum siding, rub your hand on it. Does Is it chalking? If it's chalking, you need to get the chalking off. Um, if you can't get all of it off, add a mulsa bond to your paint and it's gonna help it bond to the chalking better. But you know, we just, we power wash it really good. And um, usually the power washing with an agitating, rotating nozzle is gonna, um, is always work for us on aluminum siding and then we spray it you do not back brush or back wool because it's aluminum. smooth and you're, you don't need to be pushing it in mm -hmm. you know cracks and crevices and stuff like that like if it was wood um, that's porous or stucco so we just spray it and leave it and always you know, practice good spray methods and um, if you watch some of my videos always um, pick start and um, logical start and stop points for either you know from a corner to a window or from corner to corner or something like that so there's some tips spraying aluminum so siding. um i have a lot of people saying they're from washington so it's a state right next to our idaho state that we were showing you right next to idaho is washington and it's a great state and we're going to be going to that state more often because we have a daughter going to college there in a couple weeks yep so um you know we're going to be going to pullman so if anybody's in that area let us know maybe we'll so we gotta, stop um, in and plan coffee or something just gotta um let you know once again our paint life shirts and hats are now finally in, in. yeah you can buy them and we sh we ship them worldwide and so and the stickers and a uh, select tools and they're on our paint life store it's our very own store Yay. now go to our so website pretty. check it out the idaho painter.com and the store is right on there so you can now purchase um, our gear, our paint life gear, and we're going to be adding stuff to the store as time goes on and as John has time to add some of the tools that we think yeah. are just absolute game changers. Don't forget we're on Instagram, Idaho Painters. Um, please consider following us on Instagram and um, Facebook, The Idaho Painter. It's just a way to help grow the paint life community, which is here to educate, empower, and equip all painters you know worldwide and this is a community to share so just by you guys um, following us tagging us hashtagging us it really helps grow this community and um, we are on Pinterest and Twitter also so and then don't forget if you 
want stickers and you don't want to buy them if you have a sticker send us two stickers and we will sticker swap with you just like we did with local the um, local non-union podcast and same with shirts if you have a shirt send us one of your work shirts and we'll send you a paint life shirt we need, right. to, we need to fill our wall back here with yep. shirts. So, Pro Serve Co. Painting, I want to know your name. Chris said, you don't like high-performance pro industrial acrylic at Sherwin Willen Down. Why don't you like it? Um, high-performance uh, pro endure industrial acrylic. So, I li- I re- want multi-surface acrylic is one of the best products that I've ever used. Okay, um, And we just sprayed um, the trim in the house we're working on right now. We sprayed all the trim with multi-surface acrylic. The high performance acrylic, we had a really uh, a problem with it curing. It, it takes a, a long time for it to cure. If you read it, it takes 30 days, literally 30 days for it to cure. This desk right here, you can't yeah, see it, was painted it. with it. And so for 30 days, I couldn't Tacky. even put stuff on the desk because it would what we call tack to the desk and stick. Like mm-hmm. this coffee cup would stick to it like in about an hour. And it says 30 days, but from my experience with this desk, it still does it. Mm-hmm. It still it does. Still it still does. And yeah. It, and it has a bond. And it has a bonding issue. It doesn't. I mean, I've got parts of the desk that are peeling off and stuff. And so it was a test I did with the desk. But we've used it in other. I've used it on furniture that it um, came off the furniture. Yeah. Didn't cure just... probably. So who? This is what it comes down to. Who really has thirty days for something to cure? I mean, it's. I mean, I, I don't know what you would paint like to um, and and be able to have thirty days for it to cure and and still and have tacking problems and issues. So um, I had uh, Zach so, Zach J E. Have you ever no, had a minutes. request to skim coat and texture a ceiling? If so, what method and material to use? So we have and we skim coat just using topping mm-hmm. compound. We also skim coat sometimes um, depending on what we're doing using hot mud like a twenty minute hot mud. But we'll skim it with just topping and then what's popular here is just spray texturing it with orange peel so we've spray textured with or- orange peel using our spray texture machine or we've um, done a hand texture where we daub it on and then we just um, lay it out with um, a large knife we just flatten it out so okay you got a question so on we it. do it says can I buy from Facebook. your store even though I'm not from the US Yes, we ship worldwide. Merry Christmas, ugly Christmas. So, um, <laughs> that's not for sale. Well, maybe we could put it for sale, or we could give it away. No, um, it's an Idaho Painter original. Show. I created so, it. So pretty. Yeah. So we do ship worldwide. All it is is just a matter of the shipping cost to you. You're gonna see, um, you know, it'll ship worldwide, and you just select um, where you're from, and it's just gonna add the the according the, the shipping accordingly. Um, so Fisher Crew Karate Karate says we, that's because you didn't use a chemical adhesion first. Um, well, I guess a chemical adhesor, maybe um, a primer or something like that. We did prime, and we did we did what the instructions said. I, we we always follow the instructions. <laughs> um, we we don't sometimes. We yeah. like to test products out. We do a lot of testing mm. to see how products perform, and so we used that product um, according to manufacturer's specifications and not according to manufacturer's specifications. So, you know, we talk to the reps a lot. We talk to the people at Sherwin Williams a lot. We get online. We read a lot. So, um, it, so. Yes, I mean, in some incidences we didn't, but some incidences we did, and I'll tell you, we've just had a, a, a lot of problems with it. I, I don't, I think, I thought it ran really easy spraying it. I just didn't think it was very user friendly. I just saw a lot of issues with it, and um, I, I just don't understand why they have that product and multi surface because multi surface acrylic is just absolutely amazing. And I know I spoke to here's something interesting. I spoke to a high level Sure Williams rep about multi surface acrylic because I spoke to um, about both of them and even they didn't like the, the, the product very much but they did say they they liked or I highly recommend multi surface acrylic and they said they did test themselves because it was developed to spray on buildings large buildings high up where you can't necessarily clean properly mm-hmm. or um, doing ceilings inside buildings that have a lot of dust and stuff like that that you can't clean they wanted it to a, a product that can stick to everything anything that can be clean and they did test putting WD-40 on surfaces wiping the WD-40 
40 off, not cleaning it off, wiping it off, letting it dry, spraying multi-surface acrylic on it, and it's stuck to it, won't even come off. It's stuck to WD-40. So, um, absolutely amazing product. So, um, Pro Servco says, I don't like Solo. Are you joining that bandwagon? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do. Um, Solo has a place, and Solo, um, it's not a high-end, you know, um, a, um, say, trim paint. Mm -hmm. It's, it's. I think it's a good product. Mm -hmm. I think it's very, very, very good for beginner sprayers because it's very forgiving. Okay. It hangs very well, which means it doesn't run easily. Um, it has a very good finish. It um, It's very thick when it dries, so it has a very, very thick mill thickness when it dries. I think it covers very well. Um, I, I don't think when it comes to performance, I don't think it adheres as well as some other products. I don't think it, it dries as hard as some other products, mm -hmm. but I think it's a great product. Um, so it says, um, Bo Graham says, hi guys, Chris, I am so, I know my face is too close, but what process for two coat coverage do you recommend for a one man show painter? I want to increase my speed and efficiency. However, I don't want to skim on quality. So two coat coverage is just a matter of getting a product that dries fast, like mm -hmm. this multi-surface acrylic we're using. Um, and we're just, we're testing it out. We yeah. really like it, but we haven't used it on trim before. This is the first time we sprayed it on trim and I liked it a lot and it dries really fast and we we were two coating the trim yesterday and we did a whole video series while I was there John I and Zach mm -hmm. um, did a bunch of videos and this is gonna be a really cool video showing you how we do trim and how we spray trim and it has each one of us back-to-back -back spraying yeah, doors. Yeah, I saw that yesterday on Instagram. Yeah, we are in it. Um, Instagram. <laughs> look at Instagram and you can just see something that part of the, um, yeah. what, what, just a glimpse of what we are doing. But mm -hmm. it dries super fast and you can respray it within an hour. And then, so a tip, we always crank up the heat and then um, to get the heat up high, so you know the, the product will skim over and dry faster, won't, won't run. And then we turn off the heat when we start spraying, doesn't so it doesn't recirculate the dust in the air um, through the heating system um, and just clog up their filters and stuff. But use a product that dries fast. Here's something, a tip: we um, use a product. Um, we tested a product from Sherwin, the the Emerald um, Europe. Somebody said they really like it. I think um, Morales. So we've tested Julius it, and, like um, and I think it's a good a good product. But the dry time is is incredibly slow, mm -hmm. and if you want a two coat in one day, you can't do it, and you can't like spray it. Um, multi surface acrylic um, solo, you can spray the trim, mm -hmm. mask on the trim, and start doing walls the same day. We do it all the time. We do it. We trust me. We do it all the time. So with um, the urethane from the emerald, you cannot do that. So, um, Hula said, Pro Classic Oil is one of the best products I've used. Can you even get oils anymore in the you US? You can get um, Pro Classic some? Oil Modified. So, um, modified. it's a latex. It's a latex product, so it cleans up with water, but it's a modified oil. Mm -hmm. So, um, and it does perform really well. It's way better than the Pro Classic Water Base, which I absolutely hate. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's a place for it for anybody, really. Um, but it, it for I mean brushing a windowsill, it'll mm -hmm. brush out a windowsill really good if you're brushing a windowsill, but it runs in every case easily everywhere. It just runs really bad. It sprays, it's a nightmare spraying because it flashes really bad and runs really bad. And it took me, a, I, I was spraying it in um, new construction for quite a while and it took Hi, me Larry. quite a while Hi, to learn how to spray it and spray it properly and get it absolutely like glass, like an automobile finish, very, very difficult mm -hmm. to use. And then it was very inconsistent. Sometimes it would come out watery, um, literally like water. We would spray it on and it would just completely run off. It was Not a good. major problem. Um, and we just gave up on it because of that inconsistency. So Aaron Singer. Great show, I'm getting emulsion, emotional, emo emotional. <laughs> So, and, and this, that's interesting because... Uh, oh, that's emulsivani. No, emulsional. Oh. Like emulsion is... Um, it's is paint, paint or something. So they call in, um, Pharaoh and Ball just sent us this package with a bunch of products in it. Oh, and, um, where's the one thing we thought we should frame it? The stir the, stick. The truck. Oh my goodness. And they Very call latex stir. paint emulsion over there, mm -hmm. and it, which is kind of interesting. I never heard the term mm -hmm. before, but they call it emulsion. We call it latex. So Aaron Singer paint. said, do you use multi-surface acrylic for trim paint? You're so... 
we haven't, but we just started um, testing it out because it. it's so the product is so good. Durable. So um, in, in like everything that we've seen, it, it, it bonds extremely, extremely well. Um, it's very durable, hard. But um, yesterday we had a lot of fish eye problems, but that's probably not related to the product. It's re related to not cleaning and prepping the surface you know, properly. There was a bathroom that there was probably a lot of hairspray chemicals um, mm. floating in the air and stuff that contaminated the trim. Need more cleaning. And so we're we're going to be testing it. So I'm not gonna. I'm not going to recommend it for mm -hmm. tram. We use it on a lot of other things. Um, excellent for um, doing iron fences and stuff like that and stuff outdoors. We've done used it car washes, the walls and car washes. Mm -hmm. um, excellent for that. And um, so there's a lot of things to use it for interior trim. We're testing it. We need to see the results when it's dried and cured. So we have an older house that have had ages and ages of paint and stuff. So I'm just saying in front of our Paint Life family that you can test the product on in my oh house. <laughs> wow, I can test it on my house. <laughs> I'll let you test it on my house because um, some of my trim is kind of sad. Spin Road says Ferrell and Ball is good paint. So um, let us know what you think of Ferrell and Ball. They've contacted us. They want us to try out their paints or something like yeah. that. Well, and we want and we want to try them out because that's you know that's why we're here. It's like we want to find the best products for you know some products are better for beginners, some products are better for advanced sprayers and then pricing, you know, so we want you if you're going to buy an expensive product it really to be worth it and that's like the emerald urethane that is very expensive. Let, it, let us know what you think of it. We've heard I've heard opinions all across the board mm -hmm. about Farrell and Ball um, from good to bad and we'll develop our own opinion because mm -hmm. Um, we like to develop our own opinions whether something is good or bad. I do have to say their packaging is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Their fan deck is absolutely incredible. Um, here's their fan deck right here. I, I think their fan deck is pretty similar to um, Benjamin Moore, which is Benjamin Moore is one of the fan, best fan decks I've ever seen. Um, incredible color package. They got great colors, mm -hmm. great fan decks. Um, they sent me a brush too. So um, just kind of an average brush. So we're adding this show in because we know you know um, time zones, and so we wanted to be there for the European market and for other markets that this is a better time for. But I'm seeing Europeans, a lot. Europeans, you do matter. You do matter a lot. I um, <laughs> noticed that there are a Everybody lot. Everybody matters. A lot of people in the U.S. on the show also. So um, if you are in the U.S. and if you're thinking about going to the our national paint and decorating show in Even Texas. the U.S. matters. Everybody yes. matters. If you guys are planning on going this spring to, it's in Texas. Let us know because we're thinking about it. Um, so we are contemplating going. So we want to know if anybody in our audience is planning on going. And what if about so, Australia? We don't talk. Until oh, things are final, go stop. Secret. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, we. Australia is a secret. It's not a... Den okay. Anyways, I never said any of that. I never said what, what we're doing. I just said Australia. Our daughter is going to plan on living there next year. She wants Maybe to that's do what I was talking about. Okay, that's what you're talking about. She wants to do healthcare <laughs> outreach. Um, so our middle daughter, McKenna. Morales Drywalls and Painting Julio, he says $56 a gallon emerald urethane. And that's a lot of money for a gallon of paint. That's mm -hmm. just absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think solo, we pay I think like right, right around thirty dollars a gallon, yeah. and so another twenty six dollars a gallon. I just man, it's like to me, it's hard justifying mm -hmm. paying paying that. But if it is really good, then um, then hey, it's worth it. So Paint Tech Academy, there's feeling the love. Good. So um, Color Schemer <laughs> says since we paint two coats regardless of product, we love we... Paint Tech Academy so much. We're gonna send our daughter over there to live for a while. <laughs> <laughs> She's got to go to college first. But yes, yes, that is a point. So color scheme, I was in the middle of reading this question. Since we paint two coats regardless of product, we found it pointless to buy the higher grade paint. Little advantage is earned. Do you agree so, with that or not? Um, I mean, his statement has a point, and it's okay. a very valid statement. And I do agree with his statement. Here's um, one thing I would, would consider is, um, and I'll take Solo for instance, we, we're gonna have to do two coats of Solo. We're gonna have to do two coats of um, the emerald urethane. They're, they're on the multi-surface acrylic that we used, it was two coats and it, it didn't even cover as good as Solo. But here's the two things about a high quality paint. Yeah. It's gonna be more durable. So, which means it's gonna be more washable. Inside people's houses, I wash my trim all the time. I used to 
Um, I used to do it with like simple green and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. I found out it's degrading the acrylic in the paint really fast and making it soft. So now I just use warm soap and water, but it's going to be more scrubbable, more resistant to your household chemicals, a better quality paint. And then it's going to adhere and bond better to the surface. Um, and so I guess if you're spraying a primer on there, it doesn't matter what we do is we degloss with a, a liquid deglosser and then we spray over the top of that. But, um, just to me, I, I want, I, I look for two things, you know, paint that's going to be extremely durable, resistant to household chemicals and one that's going to bond really good. Cause we've had issues with paints bonding, primers bonding and paints bonding and in interior trim because there's just a lot of things that that you can't see um, unknowns with interior trim people cleaning it with 409 people cleaning it with lemon oil um, how I mean, windex people clean it with and there's a lot of these things that are leaving residues on the paint a lot of things mm -hmm. that you can't see unknowns and we've even seen primers fish eye um, and and you know we're trying and you know you've got a limited time to be in this house the house we're in now we've got four days to get in and out of it and we can't afford to be dealing with problems and so we want a paint that is going to eliminate a lot of those problems mm -hmm. and lower end paints are going to have problems that higher end paints don't so that's something to consider so aaron singer says i don't agree because promar 400 coverage is horrible compared to 200 because there are some paints Promar that are expensive 400 that are good. is a lower end quality of paint of Promar 200, and so and I'll and I, and I want to I do I'll say it's so it's supposed to be a better paint. Promar 200 has a whole lot of problems that I've had in the past with it, and Promar 400 doesn't have those same the same problems, and so. Um, there are yeah there's going to be exceptions to the rule here so promar the 400 price is, 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 is price is cheaper but um promar 200 they were trying to make it a, a no voc paint and it created a whole lot of problems with haloing um the colors not coming out right touching up and stuff absolute nightmare um promar 200 the one sheen i think it's the um eggshell sheen if you touch the wall just the oils on your hand oh, you will see your handprint and it will never that handprint will never go away and so and then you can't touch up over it so there are exceptions to the rules always so um larry wilkinson have you all used extreme cover sherwin williams new product so we i haven't yet so we're testing out just a, i mean now we're going through all these paint manufacturers testing stuff and we're rapidly testing a lot of stuff and filming it and that is one of the products that we have not tested yet but it's on our list any advice on good washable oh you just interior flat paint you just said pro mar anything is crap <laughs> <laughs> it said click show or hide yeah. because um, yeah. because of the word crap. So there's this thing that filters out you know bad stuff, and um, I read it and yeah, you know, it's his opinion. Promar yeah. anything is crap. Um, you know, I think it's uh, more like a, a con contractor quality product, and mm -hmm. um, I would never I wouldn't use Promar you know paints on anything, but I do know um, and have friends that use it and like it. Yeah. So some people like it, but I would I use it. I tried to steer away from all the Promar stuff. Okay, so um, Mohammed said you saw those new tips in Germany. What do you think about them? Did, have you tried them out yet? So we have not tried them out because um, since I came back from Germany, the only thing we've sprayed so far is um, trim. We've done um, spraying of trim and those tips aren't fine finish tips, so we haven't used them yet. So we didn't use them in my bathroom? You, we did. Um, we we did the cabinets in the bathroom that's an HVLP sprayer oh, okay. okay so the, the tips that we got from Germany those we got 515s and um, another size like a 313 or something like that but it's not a fine fine finish and so we typically very rarely spray walls here because we're doing interior repaints residential homes and mm -hmm. the people live there so we typically roll our walls in most of those scenarios so we haven't used it somebody asked do we do new construction we are a small company and so you know we haven't been doing we do it everything okay can i finish <laughs> this is us real um everything. so I know that, but you specialize and you use, we only have a small team, but um, in January we might be doing a new construction. And so if we do, um, obviously we'll be videoing it and we'll be testing those tips out. And as soon as we do, Mohammed, um, we'll be posting a video. And so just keep an eye out for it. 
it's really hard to do like some of everything because um, new construction, you're going to have to be going back for, you know, touch ups over and over again mm -hmm. and um, you don't get paid for it. And when we got to keep going back to do touch ups, when we're doing repaints, it's really difficult. The, the new construction teams, the friends that I have that are in it, they'll have like that's multiple crews and then they have um, a touch up crew that literally that's all they do. Their whole job is just doing touch ups and the guys that are making money and successful in the new construction industry, that's the model that works the best. I mean, it's 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 very difficult to make money and very frustrating to be a repaint specialist and in the new construction industry too. It's really difficult, and they're just too they're 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 so different. Um, painting painting new construction is so different than painting um, repaints. It's just um, it, it's it's crazy how different it is. So um, stay away from it. L -L -D, absolutely. Uh, that's what Larry Wilkinson says. There is no money in new construction. So um, I think he has a point. Um, it, it's it's not. It's not easy making money in new construction if you're in the repaint industry and you're getting new construction jobs on the side. Very, very difficult. But if you're in the new construction industry and that's the bulk of your work, you can make a lot of money yeah. doing new construction. So, and, and I know that because I have a friend that's making a whole lot of money. Um, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, he's doing over a million a year and on new construction. He has at least 30 guys on his crew. Mm -hmm. He's got multiple crews, has bought, um, he just bought two 60 foot booms and um, they're painting extras. I mean, they do very, very well, but that is, um, that's what they do. So I have two really good friends that um, that's, that's what they specialize in and they do extremely well. So um, Color Schemer said Glidden, Glidden Diamond is my go-to product. Have you ever used that product? I have not. I've used so. some Glidden products that, um, fell off my shed <laughs> <laughs> well and that tip yeah but, um, who knows yeah glenn i mean yeah i th there were some circumstances i that the weather conditions and stuff that caused it to I'm not get properly but i would love to use glenn because i've heard a lot of good things about uh -huh. glenn i mean there's another good thing about it and we and we do plan on testing it because it's do. sold right here in home depot and um, we've tested bear paint and mm -hmm. you know, there were some things I did like about bear paint and some Well, and the thing I is, is, is each of these companies have so many different oh, they, they, products they, they and so paints to meet, you know, people's price points that are just cheap, inexpensive paints and you can't export, expect them to perform like a high end paint. Mm -hmm. You really get what you pay, pay for in the industry. Mm -hmm. If you're buying a, a gallon of paint and it's $20 a gallon, it really is $20 a gallon worth of paint. If you're buying a gallon of paint for $30 a gallon, it's probably more than likely a better quality, not always than, um, mm -hmm. you know, and the, <laughs> the Jesus. Do you guys ever use duration? Um, we do use duration. So I do like duration. Um, duration paint is, um, it's a good quality paint. Don't ever use it below 50 degrees or you're going to have yourself a disaster. So it says on the back of it that it's um, a low temp paint. It's absolutely not a low temp paint. That's completely false, completely wrong. Um, above 50 degrees, I really like the product a lot. Um, I do. I like the, the finish. We're talking about exterior, correct? Oh, I was talking about exterior. They might yes. be talking about interior. Yeah. Um, duration interior. Um, yeah, it's... Um, it's expensive. There's some certain colors in it that are fabulous, like the duration interior. If you're painting like some um, vibrant reds and stuff like that, they got like a red base and stuff. There's some of the colors that um, it covers amazing using duration. So Fisher um, said Diamond Vogue has great paint too. What is, I've never heard of that company. Where, where's that at? The bottom. Diamond Vogel. I've heard of it. Um, so I'm going to write that I, down. I'm yeah. writing this stuff down because really you guys are helping us. Um, Aaron Singer, what wall paint products do you like? So we just did. We've been reviewing a lot of products and so far um, we've only given, John has given a five star to only one paint. Um, so far, I think that's, um, I don't even know if he's given anything else, a four star. He's given a five star to Cashmere from Sher Williams. I gave Cashmere from Sher Williams a four and a half stars. And so they've give they um, are by so far by far the, the best interior paint that we've tested out of all the companies. Um, 
I think we gave um, a super high rating to PPG Breakthrough. Yeah, a lot of people um, said they really like that, and it's a good price. I think for the we trim. were we were in the range of four to four and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I think most of the other stuff that we've been testing has been around the three three and a half stars. Mm -hmm. But um, cashmere is absolutely amazing mm -hmm. um, for trim paint. We're kind of. Um, it's kind of interesting because we have used Solo for a lot of years and we have really liked it and John still really likes it. I mean, it's not a five star paint. Um, I would even get, I would say, you know, it's th probably three and a half stars, you know, because of some of the issues with it, um, outgassing over Bondo and stuff like that, some really weird things. Um, but I, I would say there, I haven't used it in a long time, but for a trim paint, I would say, um, Ambassador from Qual, which I don't even know if they make anymore, would have been probably four and a half stars. And then, oh wow! And Ke Kelly Moore Acro or Kelly Moore Durapoxy. Durapoxy. I be, think I saw that on there. Durapoxy. I would give, and I haven't tested Durapoxy for a long time, a lot of so years. But Durapoxy would be a four and a half star paint for me. For so we trim. need to try it again. I mean, that's the thing is we're trying to go to yeah. different companies and see what the best are, and that's what we want to use. Durapoxy is is as so probably you know, the best overall trim paint I've ever tested. And one thing it comes in, you can get it mixed in black and you can get it mixed in white. So what that means is it covers all the bases, which most trim paints don't. Oh, wow. If you wanted like a black in say Pro Classic, then you can't get it. It used to be that, um, I don't, I haven't bought it recently, but you, they didn't have like an ultra deep and Pro Classic. But um, Durapoxy is the most forgiving um, uh, the, yeah, Solo would be the next below that, but Durapoxy is the most forgiving mm -hmm. trim paint of any trim paint that I've ever used. So, so teaching the new guys, hand them Durapoxy, they're more than likely going to be successful spraying Durapoxy than any other trim paint. Okay. So Benjamin Moore Advance for trim indoors. Have you used Benjamin Moore Advance? We um, have used... Um, it was the advance that I, um, we used it on, I think, walls, wasn't it, that we tested? So he said for advance. trim indoors. I mean, we haven't put it on trim indoors. Oh, I guess we So we it rolled it on walls, we tested it on walls, mm -hmm. and we did a review of that, and I think it's on um, our YouTube channel. We've already posted that review. So we've reviewed a lot of products, we videoed them, but mm -hmm. it's just a matter of me editing it. By I mean, hand. the editing of a video takes me anywhere from four to eight hours. Mm -hmm. And so um, it's a lot of time investment. Mm -hmm. And so it's hard to get videos up fast. We do have to do a secret giveaway before um, we go. Yeah. We and and we want to say we aren't going to be doing a live show for the next two weeks. Um, we're going to miss you guys, our Paint Life family. But we are going to, we have family coming in from California. And so we are I'm going to be spending the holidays with them, so we'll miss you and just hope and pray that you're spending time with your family and just really enjoying um, this season and this time of year. And remember, if you have an ugly sweater, this is Chris's. Tell me how, what a good job I did. Idaho Painter. Can't you see it? State Paintbrush. We're on YouTube, Facebook. If you want to purchase our stickers, they're on our um, store. Hand me the, the painter guy, the one single guy. So we're going to give out um, in all these stickers, you know, these are my, I created these myself. <laughs> so um, this guy's a painter. And because we are home improvement how to's, this guy has a drill. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to give one of each of these to um, and, yes, three people. And for our store, we do ship anywhere. It's you, you just put in your address, and you may have to pay more shipping if you're far away. But we do ship everywhere now. So um, go to our store, and you could buy if you don't win. Yeah, don't forget, ship ship me a sticker. Ugly um, sweater time, yay! Shout out the um, local union podcast because they um sent me one of their stickers or they sent me a whole bunch of them and they're really cool i think julio your package went out yesterday or today so so these good. two Thank stickers you. are going to go to three people they're each going to get two of them so all you oh, got to do each gonna get two um yeah each are going to get two of them that's what we did last time yep. um the other day so all you got to do is guess I um the number and the number guess the number that i write on the back of the sticker uh -huh. and the number is going to be from um 100 to 150. Just to oh, confuse three things. Three digits. Three digits are confusing. Three digits. Three digits are confusing. With your number, it'd be pretty cool if you um, just wrote a number. <laughs> oh my gosh. So write a number. We're so gonna what, pick so the is first it, three is it people. Through face, 
we're on two different oh, things. Oh, goodness sakes, we are on two different things. <laughs> so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to eventually close this out on Facebook because yeah. we can't pick them here. But the first three we see on um, on Facebook, those three are going to get um, okay. some. Did and you then, message people from yesterday? And um, I haven't messaged the people from yesterday, so we you're going to have that. to do that. No, so, you don't have to do that. <laughs> Because yesterday we gave some away on Facebook yes. also. So now he's supposed um, to message. We're just like a sticker giving away machine. So, um, the so knows we'll me. do that. And so here we go. Uh, the number was uh, the other day. I actually said what the number was. Like I was kind of that was pretty that funny. was kind of weird. But we're looking. Um, so it's between one hundred and one hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, um, Lisa won't blurt it out. That I won't saw put it out. That we've already because I don't remember what you wrote down. Between one hundred and one hundred and fifty. Well, I see one right okay. there. So, um, I hope you guys all have a very, very, very merry hey, Christmas. Hi. Our um. How are you doing? <laughs> that you're gonna kiss me. I'll kiss you. Oh. Um. Aww. So. Uh, so our daughter left. So I hope you made it, Brooke, safely to Las Vegas to spend time with Armando's family. And Armando kept popping up saying, give her her gift. But we said we weren't doing gifts this year. So is there something Armando knows that I don't know, Chris? Give who whose gift? Armando said that. He kept saying that on the champ feed. I don't know. Maybe he's going to give her a wedding ring or something. No, no, he hasn't talked to you yet. He can't do that. I don't know what he's He can't about. do that. No, he was saying to me. Like, I don't know, give Armando, you confused me. But Mama anyways, I hope they have, he, he does confuse me a lot. Hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. We will miss you guys. So, um, we'll give you a hint. <laughs> There's, um, Mr. Oreo, Teddy, has already guessed it. Oh, wow. He probably guessed a whole bunch of numbers, so now people uh, are he guessed the one. One of his guesses was 125, and that oh, wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. That wasn't. Yeah. So, um... So you guys have the, a the very between Merry Christmas. 110 and 130. Wow. That they will really, be, that will really make down. you think. I don't see the feed moving. I think everybody loves it. Because somebody guess one. <laughs> yeah. No. So not it's one. between 110 not 13, Louise. and 130. Yeah. 110 and, and 130. 130. Not. Well, for Zai painting. D Dwight Wilder was within one number. Oh, so you just go up or down from that one. Yep. Oh, I see one right there. So Morales painting and drywall. Oh. Just got it. I think you're going to be getting little packages from me every day now. He's Hopefully won he something them. before. I think he just bought some stuff from the store. Oh, he... And he was waiting for shirts, and I believe that they... So we make sure we don't out. send them the same stickers in. We can try to give them something different. Well, what we'll kind of them? Some Morales painting and drywall. Some all you got to do is just scroll up and see what number Who else? put. Did anybody um, else win? Um, I'm looking for the last one on Facebook right here. As soon as we close it out, we'll look it up and we'll find them, and then we're yes, just gonna. We'll find you. Li live show. You have to email us live show. There we go. Oh, I just we found need your the third address. one. So the third one, Jeff Kramer. Jeff Kramer, you're a winner. Um, let's see. Jeff Kramer, Mr. Oreo Teddy, and Morales Painting and Drywall. Yeah, and put the email. You have to email us at live show at the dash Idaho dash painter dot com. Right there. Email us to that email yeah. and just um, tell us that you know you were the winner of and you gotta describe it as stickers, the um, check mark with the painter and the guy with the drill. And and I don't know why he didn't wear his ugly sweater today, but this is Chris's Idaho painter, our fabulous state of Idaho, on YouTube. Make sure and go to our store and um, see what we're selling, and we are going to constantly be adding products that we love to the store. And so we want to make it really easy for you guys to get these tools because they help us. Yeah. And that's what our channel is about, to educate, empower, and equip yeah. you guys and us. Thank you for our super chatters. Pro Thank finish you, painting Regina. from Regi um, Thank Regina. You, Morales painting and drywall and pro serve co painting. In Washington. Thank you guys in Washington. Thank you very much yeah, for, for the for super chats. We appreciate it very much. Um, it helps you know get the word out to um, educate, empower, and equip painters worldwide. 
that's what worldwide. our mission is is to help you guys out so see him on instagram where he painted the berlin wall which is really really cool yep yeah. we are gonna sign off here so you know a merry christmas very, to everybody very very merry christmas a happy new year Jingle to everybody bells. so even even to the people that don't think we cut in very well yep that's this is all for you happy new year to okay. everybody and we'll see so, you after the new year we'll see you on our next show out